and so you just grab it and squeeze it. Oh, now you have that power. And you go to the next area. So this is why I said... Take heed. Indeed. You're playing until you fall. Which you may guess that the game's over once you fall. We're gonna do standing. Just some nice comfort level things here. So a little bit about this game before I get in. First of all, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I don't know if it's just the color palettes, the design choices, uh, the music you hear, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, it, it, it has a really good uh, character to it, I guess you'd say, or style. So really enjoy it on that aspect. The game itself is pretty good, too. Um, I'll go ahead and get right in here. Yeah, you can see I've only played it about an hour, but you, you get a good idea about what it is before very long. It is hello, an, champion. Hello. It is an action-based roguelike, uh, sort of a dungeon crawler in the way that it's set up, but there's no uh, literal dungeons. Uh, basically, you, you play the game, and uh, as you play the game, the levels and the creatures you fight are random. You get power-ups uh, during the course of that run, which end at that run, but then you also get currency during that run, which you then bring back here to your base to upgrade and make subsequent runs much easier because you get more powerful. So again, with the visuals, this is darn awesome. Uh, normally, most games, in, in my opinion, that give you the arms and the elbows don't look very good or don't work very well, but these are uh, pre pretty good. Uh, nice, cool little effect where it's like you're kind of just an energy thing inside of armor. Um, he's like a little practice dummy. We'll get to him in a second. So, as I mentioned, this is kind of a roguelike, and uh, your top things up there are your charges for charging. So, um, what that means is the locomotion in here is smooth. You have an option for smooth, which is what I'm doing now. But you probably notice I'm very slow. Uh, that's because even though you do have the option to move, kind of strategic type movement, they really want you to teleport. And uh, normally I'd be against that because don't tell me how to play my VR games. Uh, you can snap turn. The reason for the teleport is that charge. So basically the teleporting works as a form of an attack. So when you actually charge forward, you're going to hit him and kind of make him stunned for a moment. So... I'll live with it. I'll live with the teleport on this just because there's an actual tactical use and advantage to doing so. Uh, for your weapons, you have two hands, so you can have two weapons. So you start off with just a basic sword and dagger, which I'll go ahead and grab. So uh, to summon your sword, you use your grip. You have a cool effect here, and then the sword looks the way that it looks, which is pretty darn good. I've actually upgraded this once, so it's a little bit different than the starting sword. Left hand is a dagger. Again, it has been updated once. So you may be saying, well, why would you have a sword and a dagger? What's the difference as well? Instead of using grip, if you hold your hands up and trigger, you'll see the various stats. So the slot here that's empty, you actually get things during your run to give it extra perks or feats, uh, bonuses, that type of thing. Uh, you have guard damage and then you have uh, health damage. Uh, basically one is the amount of guard, uh, damage you do against a guarding opponent, which we'll get into, and then of course once they're not guarding the amount you do to their actual health. Uh, each weapon has its own special skill, in this case this is Bulwark. bulwark. You know, this place could use a tidying up. No, I know there are more important things to worry about. Which is basically a defensive skill. So then we go over here to our dagger. You'll see those stats are much weaker, but it's a smaller weapon. And uh, it actually has a much stronger, I guess, a more potent special ability. Uh, so that's kind of the trade off there. Uh, you also get more of a combo for that. Uh, your health is underneath. You only start with three. And then these two things to the side, those are your super meters for your weapon. So we saw that the sword had more of a defensive type thing. 
Whereas if I to, were to get the axe instead, you'll see that it has more of an offensive weapon and then, or offensive skill. And then of course the stats are a little bit different because it's a different weapon. So as you're playing the game, you gather Aether or Ether. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. It looks like Ether with an A in front. Right now I have 133. So after you, you complete your run, uh, you can come up here and grab an upgrade. So this is a generic upgrade stone, if you will. Since I have the axe, uh, the axe equipped, if I were to use this stone, it would cost 55 aether and give me these stat boots. In this case, boost. In this case, it's gonna give me extra slot. Uh, but if I grab it with this hand, then we're looking at the upgrade for the dagger. So makes sense. Kind of a nice intuitive thing. Uh, the other thing I'll get out here real quick is in addition to. Uh, having a different dagger over here that you can use. I've also unlocked uh, what they call whoop, didn't want to do that a crest. So basically you're forgoing a weapon in this hand. So there's the, the crest right there in order to boost the damage or the stats of your other weapon. So this is like a I don't know, I, I kind of want to say it's hard mode because you only have one weapon, but at the same time that weapon's a lot stronger, so it might actually be a little easier because um, it's less to do. Uh, I have not unlocked everything. Obviously that's what this is. Oh, that stuff's for. There's other stuff here, a whole other set of stuff here, and then of course one other item here. I am going to go back just to the basic stuff for now. So how do you actually play the game? So I mentioned the dash attack, but uh, the whole... Uh, idea is that once you damage an enemy enough you're going to see this which means you've broken their block now you want to slash in the direction of those orange slashes in order to do more damage so if you just do that it doesn't do as much but then if you actually hit it in that direction, you'll do more damage. Uh, the game does tell you that it, the wider your strike, the more damage you'll do. So of course, if you're just doing this and flailing around, you're not gonna do much damage, which is opposed to actually doing a full swing. Now, the other thing I'll get into before we get in is- It would be nice to know that we're not alone out here. Sure. Is um, when the enemy is going to attack you, you'll see a blue slash on the screen. And that indicates that you need to put your weapon up to block and they'll do kind of weird combos and stuff like that but here we go we're gonna do a run probably just one we'll see how well I do so here's the enemies they mostly stand still until you engage them uh, these guys should be pretty weak so he's blocking now so I'm gonna block his attack and attack back and now he's stunned And we go to the next guy. You can take them all on at once if you're brave or uh, do what I do, which is a little smarter and just one at a time. Cross them. Oh. Okay. So once you kill everything, you go up to the magic bramble thorn bush here. And then this is where the roguelike uh, pops up. Now this looks like I have three different skills, uh, or traits rather, for the weapons. Normally you'll get options for either more aether, uh, maybe to get a, uh, a healing, maybe to get a maximum health increase or something like that, but for whatever reason, um, so you pick one of these. Uh, in this case, this trait in my left hand uh, will do that. Uh, deal 50% increased guard damage when uh, alternating hits, blah, blah, blah. But if I grabbed it with this hand, this weapon, well, I guess it does the same thing. So sometimes you'll, you'll see different things depending on what the upgrade is and depending on what weapon you're going to put it in. So we will just go ahead... Yeah, sure. We'll do this one. So you just grab it and squeeze it. Oh, now you have that power. And you go to the next area. So this is why I said it's not really a dungeon. Because you're just kind of going from random uh, tile sets, I guess. The enemies are, are random each time. 
So I don't want to get that guy involved. Ooh. Fight. Here we go. This is a workout. At least of the upper body. Later on, you get enemies that make you need to duck. So be aware. Uh... No, oh, see, you got me. I wasn't paying attention. Great job, champion. So I took one damage. All right, so we have there's some aether. Here's a max health plus one, and here's healing up to five. I'm only missing one, and if I get plus one, it'll give me one. So I'll be three of four rather than just three of three. So that's letting me know that these are charged. To charge when you have your weapons pulled out, you just hit your trigger. I'm probably not gonna use them right here on these guys though. I'll wait for a harder enemy. Those, those guys are just one hits. Okay, and this guy, he's gonna be a little tougher. So I'll probably use one of my skills here. Let's try this one. Nope, I'm not doing good at blocking. See, he got me. I got sloppy. And that's how you know the game's over, because you have fallen. So this is a really bad run. Um, I have not... I assume these little special markers here are big special bosses. I've gotten to, like, the one right before the first one. So, uh, um, again, I haven't played very long, but it doesn't really take you long to get the, the, the idea of... Uh, how it works, how you progress, um, the things you want to do as far as uh, the different perks and things that you choose on your run and stuff like that. So, yeah, this this is a really fun one. And like I said, it's a good workout. So maybe if you're into those uh, types of games, uh, you're getting into VR to maybe get fit or something like that, get a workout and not just sit around and on the couch and playing games. This one is excellent. Um, lots of choices in the weapons or... Uh, at least a little bit of variety in them, at, at the very least. Uh, and it's fun, and the music is, is really good, the visuals, the style, everything about it, I really enjoy. So uh, I'm definitely going to stick with this one for a while, see what other things I can uh, unlock, and uh, who knows, maybe burn some calories and shed a few pounds. So yeah, until you fall, definitely check it out. So I wasn't terribly impressed with the... Uh, run I had during my normal review so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do a quick re I know you'll put it to good use run if you will maybe switch things up a little bit and see how this goes just show a little bit more of the game better already Ooh, okay I like that oh I like that oh I like dash damage let's do that something I gotta use all the time Axe definitely has a little more oomph to it. Attack. 
Alright. <laughs> Magnificent. You can definitely see in this run uh, the benefit you get from upgrading your weapons. Uh, yeah, I think I like that one. Right, let's do max. Maybe your first few runs should just be getting ether every time you get a chance. Just so you can level up a little easier. Let's get a charge build up. Seems like these guys are a little uh, softer too. Alright, big guy. Blocking. Keep Returned to dust. That was a close one. Definitely want to heal. So I have this super ready to go. Attack. All right, let's see what this does. got me one. And I think this is going to be a mini boss on this one. Uh, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to use that really, but so we'll go ahead and grab this. So what is this? Uh, next strike with the weapon does 200% guard damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so here's a mini boss type guy. I've not beat him yet. You do have to duck. Carrying won't be enough here. Avoid There's... its heavy attacks. Yeah, but it seems like I don't know, it seems like I duck. Maybe not enough. Yeah, see it told me to go right, not duck, so I don't get it. said to go the, to the right. Theirs are saying go to the right. I go to the right and he still hits me, so maybe I have to duck under the arrow. I don't know. But anyway, I think that's a probably a little better representation of the game. Mildly better than I did in my other run. Still a good representation of what you'll be doing in the game. Welcome back, champion.